Pulling up at our favorite thrift store, and you guys know it all too well, this is our junkie thrift store. And today's video is a fun one because it is a collaboration with Kristen Hoffman, and her channel is relatively new to me, but when I seen it, I just thought it was such a beautiful channel, and she is such a beautiful person and has the sweetest little family. And I know you're going to love her content as much as I do. And um, I've been binge watching her channel and I think you guys will too. So don't forget to go to her channel, subscribe, and um, her channel is linked in my description below. So let's get to thrifting and see what we can find. redoing um, each room one at a time right now I'm working on our bathroom I am always like looking ahead and then when I see certain items I pick it up and then when I come to that room I'm so glad I did but anyhow Liz over on Instagram I'll have her account um, linked in my description below she just shared a beautiful white table with like vintage feet and some stained chairs and it's a relatively small looking table and my dining room is very small where the table sets so I cannot have a big table because there is just not room so I have been thinking wow that table would look so pretty in my kitchen so I've been watching you guys I have uh, picked up one table at the local habitat for ten dollars and then I found a table here for $10 that I picked up as well. And I need your guys' help in helping me figure out which table resembles uh, the table that Liz did. And I think I prefer the white table, but you'll soon see it. And then you guys can let me know which table to keep. I rounded the corner and there was the table and the top is off but I don't believe that's going to be a problem to put back on. This table is extremely heavy and it already has the little feet uh, attached to the bottom and I believe they're vintage whereas the white table I would have to buy you know the feet and then have them attached to the bottom and they probably wouldn't be vintage but ten dollars actually he wanted 30 and i my friend was shopping and she purchased the table for me we let the lady know up front that's what she was going to be doing and she was okay with that and so i got the table for ten dollars and now i'm headed home to show you the rest of my haul but first um in and out is right by the junkie thrift store and so the girls were hot and tired because this um, 
thrift store does not have air conditioner. And we stopped by In-N-Out and grabbed some food before we went home. This was filmed a couple days prior to us thrifting, but myself, Violet, and Anne <laughs> got this table out. And it's small, but this table is extremely heavy as well and sturdy as a rock. So we struggled a little bit getting it out of the truck, but we managed to get it in the garage. And don't forget to comment below and let me know which table is a lookalike for Liz's table that I showed you a couple minutes ago. I have a big haul for you. I feel like I have a lot of stuff to show you. And then I have the two big items that I'm trying to decide on. So I'm gonna need your guys' help in picking out my table, um, which table I keep and do. But let's start first with the little items. Um, I'm not gonna say this name right. In fact, it's on the bottom of this. I'm not gonna try to say it. I'm just gonna spell it for you and you'll know what I'm talking about. It's P-F-A-L-T-Z-G-R-A-F-F. -F. So that's this brand right here. And I have eight of them I thrifted a um, couple months ago. Went back and found another one and it was 99 cents and 30 or 50% off. So these are some of my favorite coffee cups to drink out of. And they're so pretty and just a really pretty statement piece on the countertop as well. And I, I like the rim of the cup. I'm kind of odd about the rims of my cups. I don't know why. Since I showed you this already, he was $2.99. And he was either 30 or 50% off. I'm sorry, I can't remember their price. But I would show you the name of it. But it kind of has a glare. But it's that, what I spelled out earlier. And it's the gravy boat. So I wasn't going to get this because I just don't need it, need another gravy boat. But when I seen it match my cups and it was like literally a dollar or a dollar fifty, I was like, I'll get it. <laughs> so, and then this was 99 cents and it was 50% off, I believe 30 or 50% off. It's old. It's so pretty. This is going to go in my living room eventually has an original $3 on it. And you can just tell by the back of the picture how old it is. So trying to turn it where you guys don't have a glare. But isn't it really pretty and sweet? It's about that size. I also got this really pretty nutcracker for Christmas. He was $6.99. And like I said, sorry, can't remember the percentage off, but he was really cheap and he's really pretty for Christmas. He looks very vintage. And he opens his mouth. Thank <laughs> you. Cute. It's got a little red hair. So I am hoping to have a little collage of nutcrackers set in somewhere. I don't think my living room will, I know my living room won't be done before Christmas. So, but I, cause I work in my bathroom right now, but I'll get, get to that eventually. It just takes time and patience and okay. I think my girl's I'm going to have to undo this and I'm not going to do it right now because it's going to take too long, but I think they tangled this up. It was not tangled as you see in the video. It was $2.99 and either 30 or 50% off. And sorry, there we go. Hold on. This I just thought was so cute for Christmas. Not sure if it's a Christmas. Thing, you know, a Christmas decoration, but super cheap, $2.99 and like a dollar, dollar fifty. So it has different little shapes, which I feel are Christmassy. Don't you feel like these are Christmassy, you guys? Really, really cute. That's gonna go on my Christmas bin. Sorry for the clinging. This beautiful doll. She even has like scalloped little bow on her ceramic. She's super cute. 
My mom actually got this for Violet at the Goodwill. She's a little glass arm. She's in perfect condition. Little, her little feet. Aren't they cute? And I'm sure, she, I don't know the price, but I know she wasn't too much or my mom wouldn't have bought her. But this is Violet's doll. And she has little purple blue eyes, which when Violet was born and they laid her on my chest, she turned her little head to look at me and her eyes looked purple blue. And we had the name Emma or Violet picked out for her, Emma Elizabeth. And when she looked at me and her eyes looked literally purple, we named her Violet. So this is Violet's doll and she is a vintage doll. She's so cute. She reminds me of just old fashioned little vintage doll. Let me tie her little bonnet really quick. I thrifted this really beautiful crocheted blanket. I'm just gonna give you the color and that you can kind of see the texture. I have to wash it. I paid like $2 for this thing. It was really cheap. And I haven't decided which sister gets this, Tara or Carrie, but it's gonna go in. Carrie's birthday's coming up on the second, so I don't know. This is gonna go in one of their Christmas baskets. We do thrifted Christmas, presents and thrifted birthday gifts. So really big blanket. It's a, like big enough to go on the end of a big bed, like a Cal King size bed. And then as you've seen, I got two tables and they were each $10. And I'm going to pop a picture up of um, an account I follow on Instagram. Her name is Liz. And she just did a table and it's white and it has like the little round old fashioned like rolling feet, not ball feet. Are they called ball feet? And I thrifted one table, which is a little more daintier, and I paid $10 for each of them. And when I say they're solid as a rock, I'm not buying some flimsy cheap table. These are super heavy, like really, really heavy. And then went back to the junkie thrift store and found this other one, which already has the little rolling ball feet already on. I just have to have the top connected back on. Um, I, there's a gentleman in our church that is really good with construction and does really precise work. So I thought I would see if he could put the top on for me. So I'm just trying to narrow down which table would look better and mimic the table I seen on Liz's um, Instagram account of which one I would like better maybe. I like the thinner one, the little more petite one. Um, it's already painted white, which I'm, I'm gonna paint them both white. I love the feet on that one. I think it's so pretty. But the other one is more like Liz's with more of the lip hanging down around the edge of the table. So, and it already has the feet on it. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna just, maybe on, down below you guys can comment and let me know which table you think I should go with. They're both very heavy and very sturdy, like solid as a rock and both for $10. So even if I keep the white one, that's the one that's already white and then just take the ball original vintage feet off the other one and add it. It was still cheaper to thrift the table than it was to buy, you know, a, a vintage little feet to go underneath the table. That's really not vintage. They're just like a replica. So let me know um, in the comment below which table. They're both $10. Which one should I paint white? And um, which one mimics Liz's table more? And I think they're both pretty. One's just a little bit more dainty and the other one's a little bit more thicker filling. I wanna remind you guys to go to Kristen Hoffman's channel and subscribe to her channel. She has such a beautiful channel and I know she's gonna grow and just do wonderfully. And um, she has just such a sweet channel with her little girls and everything she thrifts and she's just a beautiful person. So. Go to her channel, subscribe, and I know you'll love her content, and I will see you guys on the next video.